Mm-hmm. But I'll be damned if it's going to stop me from making you guys reviews. is true yes uh for those of you that have been wondering where i've been it's not because of testing positive for covid by any means i was in vegas in fact we had a wonderful time we even upgraded our room to a tower suite at the mirage and the reason we went to the mirage in the first place is well not only because of the beautiful pool that they have that my wife refuses to leave but the fact that the hard rock cafe is going to be taking it over so in about three years or so neither here nor there we had a great time in vegas and then uh as soon as we got back and landed uh we got home what was it friday night around 10 p.m uh saturday i started having a dry cough and of course i thought well i better check myself checked it came up negative i'm like yeah i know i have it so waited a couple more days and voila so obviously i'm out of work for five days i think i go back this friday or they're gonna let me go back friday as long as i don't have a fever and i have not had a fever so that's good just congestion you guys can probably hear it in my voice and um tired i mean very tired when i got back i was so stoked to uh have the three days before i had to go back to work and i was gonna grind out some videos for you guys and I had no energy and no ambition whatsoever to do them. Here we are, we're gonna try to get through this as best as possible, and if you guys can put up with my sniffles, then we'll be doing good. For those of you that are just meeting me for the first time, you're probably saying, I don't give a shit, I just wanna learn about the Tribit MoveBuds H1. And yes, they've been around for a while. I do have some new information on them that I think you guys are going to wanna hear about, especially for you Android users. So that being said, my name is Brandon, no D. That's right, there's no D in this name, hence Brandon, not Brandon. Without any further ado, let's dive in and show you guys the MoveBuds H1 by Tribit. So here they are, um, right out of the gate, guys, the case is gargantuan. Oh my okay, God. that's the word of the day. Big, huge, uh, and that was always my beef when you do buy a pair of earbuds, sport earbuds that have the hooks, you're going to get quite the case size, okay? To actually fit the whole uh, apparatus in the case, if you will. Um, that is one of the things that I really loved about the Soundcore Sport X10s that I did uh, about a month ago. I mean, look at the case difference in size, right? Okay, big difference. The reason Soundcores is so much smaller is because they have the foldable hook, which is amazing. I love that concept, love that idea. It makes the case so much more enjoyable to put in your pocket. Is it a deal breaker? No, absolutely not. It never has been a deal breaker on a case because at the end of the day, you're actually using the earbud, not the case. Okay, the case is somewhere else why you have the earbuds in your ear, so. But of course, speaking of this case, on the rear end, you're gonna have your USB-C charging port. Then of course, you'll have your three indicator lights gauging how much battery usage you're using on the earbuds themselves. So we're looking at a clamp style shaped case and it's the lid's a little flimsy actually it's made of all plastic here and uh it definitely does seem to wobble 
a little bit. Keep that in mind. And you'll also notice, which I did right off the bat, Look where the right and left is. This drives me crazy on a pair of earbuds that put it opposite of what we're used to. It just, it makes no sense. Right is right, left is left. I don't care what anybody says. Muscle memory, you'll get used to it. Now, of course, since we have the case already open, before we pull them out, you know we're gonna do Brandon's gravity test, and I'm not real sure how these are gonna fare because they do sit on top, so we're gonna give it a, a gentle shake. Let's see. That's why we gave it a gentle shake, so yeah. It's a no-go on the gravity test, and I knew that. All right, now that we have them out of the case, obviously physically, let's take a closer look. I love the snake pattern. It's like this uh, reptile grip around the hook. I kind of dig that. I like the look. Definitely love flat black more than glossy. Doesn't show the fingerprints. Another nice feature is they're actually kicking in six sets of silicone ear gel tips, okay? So they're gonna find you that perfect fit, whether you say there is or not. Of course, there'll be a touch control, and that's something I find a little odd on a pair of sport buds that are made for working out. A lot of times you're gonna have physical buttons so you don't accidentally bump them. I didn't have any problems testing them out, but uh, it just depends on you yourself. Hooks don't fold back like the Soundcore Sport X10s, but they are definitely flexible. And that is going to help when you put them around your ear. And uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and try them on and see how they fit. First, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Don't want those in the way. Almost always you'll have the same pattern of how to put these in. You start down here, you take the hook, rotate it around your ear, and as you turn it, it almost like screws in to your ear canal, nice and tight. Let's do the same with the left. Hook forward, lock it in, flip it around the ear, and voila, we are in like Flynn, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I'll even take the hat off so you guys can see it better. Um, definitely aren't gonna go anywhere, okay? You definitely know that right off the bat. When they're hooked around your ears like this, it's it's almost next to impossible. Well, I wouldn't say impossible. I mean, if you get knocked, of course, they might fly. But uh, just don't get any fights. Don't act too tough in that gym, you know. As far as wearing a hat with them, yes, of course you can wear a hat with them. How about glasses? Let's take a look. Okay, yes, you definitely can wear your glasses as well. Are they nice and straight? Yeah, actually, they fit right in. So... A lot of people don't work out with their glasses on, but if you are one of those individuals, you're gonna be able to do it. All right, let's go ahead and nerd out with me real quick. I'm gonna go over the specs and what these come with, and then that'll give you a little bit of an idea of the two differences between the Sport X10s and the Tribit Move Buds H1s. All right, guys, you're gonna get a Qualcomm 3040 chip, so that's pretty good inside a pair of sports buds for sure. Although these are not ANC, so you don't have active noise canceling, however, you do have transparency mode. And I think that was ingenious by Tribit to include that in the MoveBuds because people are working out and they wanna be aware of their surroundings. Number one, you don't wanna drop a weight on somebody's toe, or maybe you just wanna be aware of the creeper taking pictures of you. It happens. They give you transparency mode and we're gonna test that out. Now here's where it gets different as far as hours go for the case. On the Tribits, you're gonna get 40 hours and 15 hours on the buds alone versus the Soundcore is gonna give you 32 hours and eight hours on the buds. So eight hours versus 15 hours, yeah, you're gonna get a lot longer life on the Tribits. However, there is no 10 minute fast charge on the Tribits, but then again, you don't really need it. You're gonna get the four mics with CVC 8.0 technology on the Tribits, and you'll get six mics on the Soundcores. And you'll also get an app for both. Uh, of course, it's not a Soundcore app. That's a whole nother entity, okay? Soundcore has got it down on their app support for you guys, okay? But the new information that I have for you today is if you've seen a few videos on these earbuds, you're gonna hear that Android wasn't working with the app. Well, guess what? I have an Android and I have the app. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that works right here on the channel. You're gonna get Bluetooth 5.2, 
with the Qualcomm, the aptX playback, and the best part of all, you're gonna get an IPX8 rating. Guys, this is totally submergible, which is very nice. If you're in the pool and you wanna play some music, go swimming with them, you'll be just fine. Just don't keep them submerged for more than 30 minutes. Then again, I don't think anybody but Aquaman would be able to stay down there for 30 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and throw these back in the ear. And I would love to show you guys how the app works with Android. Now, it definitely works no problems with iPhone, but we had problems with it coinciding with Android. Assuming you've already gone and downloaded the Tribit app, let's go ahead and open it up now. We have the Tribit Move Buds that I've already assembled into the app and it's working perfectly. Go ahead and hit the arrow next and you get this really sweet looking interface. I was pretty impressed by the way. Right away you'll see the right and left percentage of how much battery power you have in your earbuds, which I always love that. Now, just under that, you have mode setting, and there's actually three modes. Even though there's no A and C, you have a transparency mode, an enhanced transparency mode, and then a normal mode. Right now, we're in normal, so I can hear okay, but of course, it's like having earplugs in your ears. It's muffled, okay? So let's go ahead and click on transparency mode at the top and it goes beep boop and now of course I can hear my voice much clearer and I'm probably not blowing out your eardrums by now but just under that we have enhanced transparency you click on that now that has brought in a lot more transparency which this is probably going to be the mode you're going to want mostly if you're out jogging alone or you want to know what's going on around you now just under that you have control mode click on that and this is going to give you four presets okay so you can't move them around like some of the apps allow you to do but you can pick from one to four on which one suits you the best number one doesn't give you any volume control but if you click on number two now it shows you volume control so you're just going to have to go through there and see what you use the most and what suits you the best and make that your setting for your controls and then you go ahead and apply it under that you have equalizer which is definitely a plus to have and it gives you a bunch of sound platforms again you're not going to be able to adjust it manually and I'm, I'm referring to soundcores app because they give you full control okay this one however does not but it definitely gives you plenty of sound stages that you're going to be able to switch to if you're a heavy bass user you're going to hit bass if you like more of rock or blues Whatever suits you, you're gonna be able to click on it and adjust it accordingly. And then next to Equalizer, you have Settings, which right off the bat, you're gonna get Upgrade Firmware. And that is definitely an important feature to have on an app, keep you updated and on top of all the firmwares being sent out. Then you have a factory reset, that's if you wanna just reset yourself. So there's not a ton of options on the app itself, but you are able to get in there and tweak it just a little bit and make it personally your own. All right, time for a song. And obviously the song choice was more than perfect for the way I'm feeling and the way I feel about my channel. If you guys are familiar with my platform, Artlist, I am a huge fan. If you're looking for that content creation and a royalty-free music platform, Artlist is where you need to be. I have all the information down in my description below, and don't forget to get yourself two free months on top of the one year subscription. You're welcome. The song is called Get Back Up by Above Envy. Here we go. Get back up. Yeah. Uh, up. What we do when you knock us down? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now right now I have the transparency on and I can hear myself talking actually, it's not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because I want to really submerge myself in this song. Baby, hit him with your nines. Hit him 
Oh yeah, definitely closes it right in. You can feel it right here. Yeah, if you guys are looking for bass, these have it. Alright, I don't want to get too worked up, you know. Uh, that'll get my uh, sinuses going. Alright. Wow, that was amazing. In fact, I still have the normal mode back on. Let me uh, go out of here and get back into the transparency mode effect. Boom, there it is, much better. Okay, now I can hear myself think, my gosh. All right, well, while we have them in the ears, let's go ahead and do the mic test next. So obviously professional mic, but we wanna hear how the Tribit Move Buds H1 sound right now. Here it is guys, in the flesh, how do I sound? Hopefully it's kicking out the ambience nice and neat so you guys can hear me. I'm sure it is, there's really not that much background noise going on, but of course I got you covered on some ambient noise. There it is, it's like a fake restaurant going on. This is what it would be like if you were taking a phone call or making a phone call in a restaurant, a busy one at that. How is it working right now? Of course I won't know until I get my button post, so. I'm with it. All right, well, I obviously have been in post and I knew they were gonna be fine because I did receive a phone call earlier on when I was testing them out and it sounded great from my end and from their end as well. So four mics on the Tribit versus six on the Soundcore, I don't see much of a difference. All right, let's go ahead and cover my pros and cons next so I can rest up for my next video. Pros and cons. Pretty simple, pretty cut and dry actually. Now keep in mind I have a video on just the Soundcore Sport X10s, okay? And I encourage you to go check out that video and then maybe do a comparison of your own. Pro number one, I'm gonna throw it to the long lasting battery on this. Now I know I said 40 hours earlier, it's actually 50 hours plus 15 hours on the buds themselves. 65 in total is more than enough that you'll ever need when you're working out with these or jogging or whatever you're doing. I really dig the fact that since there is no ANC included, they at least give you the transparency mode. Two of them, in fact. So definitely a nice feature to have when you are working out or in that zone and you wanna be aware of what's going on. And lastly, one of the biggest pros is this IPX8 rating that you're gonna get. They're submergible, they're completely waterproof. What more could you ask for for a sports bud to work out in? Now, as far as the cons go, I only have two. Number one, just like I had with the sound cores, they both do not support the wireless G-Charge. That's kind of unfortunate because that is one of the features that I really look forward to finding in an earbud. It's one of the first things I go to is slap it on that charger and see if it lights up. Unfortunately, no bueno. And lastly, not a big fan of the case. It's humongous, it's big, it's gargantuan. Whatever word you choose to use, it is bulky. However, it will fit in a purse or a gym bag without any problems. All right, now before I cover the retail, I wanna let you guys know, first and foremost, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Tribit or Soundcore, and any of these companies that reach out to me, the channel, and ask me to do you guys the reviews, it's an honest opinion that I get to give you, and I love that. Keeping that in mind, I will definitely be leaving you guys the Amazon affiliate links down in my description below. That's right, I get a kickback. It's not humongous or gargantuan, but it definitely does help me and the channel grow in making you guys these tremendous videos. Retailing for $89.99, but don't worry, you get a 15% coupon at checkout, bringing these down to $76.49. Now, here's the dilemma, because when we're looking at the new Soundcore Sport X10s, they're retailing for $64 right now, just on sale for $64. So the question is, is it really worth $12.50 more to go with the Tribits? It's going to be a case sacrifice for sure, but you're also going to get a lot more battery life than these. So 
I'm not here to make that decision for you. That's why I made the video for you guys to decide on your own. So like I said, links will be down in the description. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever on today's review or any questions on any reviews that I've done in the past, don't hesitate. Drop me a comment down below and I'll most certainly try to get back to you as soon as possible. I tend to get a lot of comments and I really try to get back to you guys, I do. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and pop ourselves open a fortune cookie and get you guys on your merry way. Will Brandon get better soon and quick? No more COVID for you. If you continually give, you will continually have. Well, hell yes. Oh, uh oh. Some of you are starting to get stale. That's not good, because I got a lot left. I like that fortune though. I definitely want to give you guys as much information as I possibly can, and in return I get your love and your appreciation, and that's all I need. Aww. All I need. If you guys have stuck with me this long in the review, well, you're either family, which I would like to think you are, or <laughs> there might be something a little wrong with you, but hey. We don't judge here at the table. No way. No, sir. And don't worry, guys. Brandon is going to be just fine. I'm doing fine. I'm hanging in there. I'm a little under the weather. It won't keep me down. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you are not already. And I will see you guys real soon in my next video. Saddle